so far so good. <laughs> this was supposed to be a video about dirt biking. The Johnson Valley OHV area. It's turning into more about surviving a sandstorm. So yeah, we're testing the I can't out. Doesn't look like she's moving. Welcome to <laughs> Johnson Valley OHV area. Sorry, it's been a couple of weeks now since we've really done a vlog. Uh, just because, you know, I have my mom out here and I want to be a little respectful. I don't like taking the camera out a lot with my mom, but we had a great time. Beautiful here this morning. Look at the, the hot air balloons. We're in Sedona. And uh, found this site off of Campendium, but it is very busy. It was crazy busy last night. We made our way out here. We got some OHV passes, and we're finally going to be getting the dirt bikes out. And I'm really excited about it. But yeah, so we're having a bit of a windstorm today and sandstorm. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm hoping that you can. Uh, yeah, we drove into this. We're kind of hiding behind this little, little tiny hill right here, but, um, we just had a few minutes of clearing, but here comes the sandstorm again, and I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Okay. So we're gonna test the eye camper on 35 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 65 miles per hour for the next 24 hours. I'm not gonna put the tent up yet. We're just gonna hang out in the van. I've made a play area for them in the back. All right, I got the tents all set up. There she is. So far, so good. <laughs> this was supposed to be a video about dirt biking in uh, <laughs> the Johnson Valley OHV area. It's turning into more about a, you know, <laughs> it's turning into more about surviving a sandstorm. So yeah, we're testing the I camper out. And I put the support legs in. I'll show you those uh, at some point. I'll climb in there and show you, but so far so good. And uh, she hasn't moved at all. And honestly, I don't even know if she needs the support. It's more for those random gusts that could be up to 65 miles per hour. I really don't know if it will be. Nothing to measure the wind out here, but it's pretty windy. As you can see, there's, there's little bits of flaring, and then more coming in. Every once in a while, I can see the mountain across from the dry leg bed, and then it will completely go to zero visibility at certain points. But yeah, I just figured I would get the tent up, see what she looked like. And yeah, so far so good. Doesn't look like she's moving. for hours. The girls and I have definitely taken a walk on the wild side. We survived the sandstorm last night, which was terrifying being in the eye camper. Uh, more about that later. And I got up this morning and actually started setting up camp and we now have a coyote who's been circling us. He came pretty close, probably within a hundred feet. Dogs kind of barked at him. Max really wanted to go after him, but fortunately Max understands where to stay. And, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, sorry, I couldn't record it. I'm too busy holding a can of bear spray and uh, a knife in the other hand screaming at the coyote to go away. But whatever he wants, he's pretty persistent. He's been kind of seeing if he can go around us. And uh, I've had to get up on top of the ladder just to be able to see where he's been going. Um, pretty bold though. Definitely doesn't seem skittish of the dogs. He's not coming up to the dogs, but he's not necessarily running away when they're barking at him. So, definitely gotta be careful. He's about the same size as Max, if not a little bigger. He looks big. He's, he's a big coyote. So, what an adventure. At least this is a coyote and not a mountain lion. I've already had the mountain lion encounter. I don't want that again. That was worse. But still, coyotes are cunning guys. And I don't think we're going to be spending much time outside hanging out at this location. It sucks that they we're the only ones here. It's such a popular spot, I was hoping that there'd be more people. I mean, probably because of the storm, but yeah. More about the storm later. That was a whole, whole other shindig. Sand everywhere. The tent was totally uh, rocking and rolling. Uh, definitely pushing the eye camper to its max last night. I have no idea how strong the winds were. It was forecast at 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour. It was scary. It was terrifying. And now I've got a coyote in it, so I'm going to deal with that. Good morning, everyone. All right, so this is actually the second night after that storm. It The wind just kept going last night, or yesterday, and it was just, honestly, just decided to spend the day relaxing, <laughs> in, mostly inside the van, a little bit out. The wind eventually died at night, but gosh, man, sand everywhere. My face is raw from the sand and the wind. Oh, man. All right, so how'd the eye camper do? It did really well. Uh, it was very scary at night. It was really hard to film how serious the wind was, but last night, or the other night, uh, during the storm, when we would get a huge gust, it was actually engaging these guys right here, which connect just like this guy. Well, this guy is off because Alex has been playing with it, but it snaps into place and it was pushing down onto these guys right here. And this is the only time I've ever actually used uh, these arm locks, that's what I call them was the only time out of I think 45 days straight using this eye camper we've been on a pretty big road trip across America as my husband is in Osset right now pretty much last night when we would get a huge gust it would engage the arm locks and it would actually you could see this bow um, this is the hard top I think this fiberglass and you could see it kind of move and flex and then the whole frame would just flex and tweak. That's how strong the wind was last night it, during that storm. It was just crazy. Um, I never want to do it again. Fortunately, you know, we parked it in a way that had the shelf into the wind. And so, I mean, I looked over the eye camper and honestly, I can't see really anything wrong with it. Uh, it seems like it survived undamaged. I never want to do that again. We definitely had 35 mile per hour winds. It forecasted up to 65 mile per hour gusts. I have no doubt that we went well beyond 35 miles per hour. I don't know how strong the actual winds were in this valley, but uh, that was my first sandstorm. John has stories about sandstorms in Afghanistan. I've never been through a sandstorm before. And uh, yeah, totally crazy. So, but it is what it is. We survived. 
I don't recommend doing that with an eye camper. I don't recommend doing that with a tent or even an RV at that matter. But we did it. So yeah. So overall, I've been very happy with the eye camper. This is an actual canvas material, solid aluminum base. And the mattress, you know, it is what it is. Um, if we can show you, right? It's nothing to write home about, but it actually gets the job done. Uh, I've gotten so used to sleeping on it that it's actually hard for me to sleep at a hotel right now on the super soft mattresses. And, uh, and yeah. So the way we've set it up is I sleep on this side, the girls sleep on that side. There is a lot of room. You, we've had it where John and I can sleep in here together with the two girls, no problem. Uh, my mom joined us for two weeks out of the trip. She slept up here with us. So really there's a lot of room for the whole family. And I do feel safer up here, you know, from the day we had the mountain lion visit our camp to um you know to the coyote right like it's not perfect it's not to say that a mountain lion couldn't get up here of course they can get up here but it's a you know a strategic advantage to having the tent off the ground including for people right they have to get up i have the high ground and there's something to that when you're by yourself out here with two kids high ground is what you want to have um, just in case, I've never actually shown this before, so I open this window up and John secured these planos uh, pretty easily to the rhino rack. I'll let him discuss that at some point, but he put some weather strips on it. And so I just reach out my window and I grab our pillows and some of the blankets and yeah. It's really, really easy and convenient. It allows me to have more storage for the dirt bikes and hiking and mountain biking and, and camping down in the actual van behind the girl seat. So, pretty cool. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Give us a big thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. See you guys next week.